Uh, now this. Like President Trump, our next guest says, you've got to bring manufacturing jobs back to America. It's a good thing. Vivek Wadwa, Harvard Law School Distinguished Fellow, is with us now. Vivek, welcome back to the program. It's always good to see you. <laughs> good to be here. Even if you are with Harvard, but that's another story entirely. Okay, you want to bring... <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I really shouldn't. Uh, if you want to bring manufacturing jobs to America, how do you do it? Robots. You know, the reason why manufacturing went to China 30 or 40 years ago was because the Chinese provided cheap labor. They said, come and abuse our people all you want. They provided subsidies, and they turned a blind eye to the environment, destruction of the environment. And then what did the Chinese do? They built up their economy, and they started robbing these com companies blind, literally stealing everything they could from them. And the prices went up two, three, four, five times. So today, if you take Apple as an example, you realize that about 55% of their core components are imported into China and then they're assembled over there? Only about 4% of the critical you know, technologies are actually built in China. They're built in Taiwan, they're built in Europe, and guess what? They're built in America. So we're taking stuff from all over the world, moving it to China so that their cheap labor, what was cheap labor, can assemble goods and then ship it back all over the world. It doesn't make sense. Robots can do what human beings can do now. But the cost of robots is less than a dollar an hour. So, so imagine really, what's so possible. What you're, what you're talking about is replacing workers with robots, but you're talking about replacing yes. Chinese workers with robots here. That's what you're talking about. Exactly, because you know, the, then the argument becomes what happens to the jobs. Well, you still need to build the robots, you still need to service the robots, you need to build the factories, you need to transport the, the goods. We can build an entire economy with, with automated robotic manufacturing. That could, it, we're talking about a trillion dollar opportunity over here, and it's possible now. Five years ago, it wasn't possible. When Foxconn announced that it would do a million, have a million robots doing manufacturing, five, seven years ago, the robots couldn't do circuit board assembly. Today's robots can do that, and much, much more. So we're entering into a new era where robots can do a whole lot more. And are they American robots? Do we make these things? We can make these things, absolutely. Our robots work as hard as Chinese robots do. They also don't complain. They don't join labor unions. They don't commit suicide. <laughs> so robots can do that. <laughs> is, there, is there any sign that the people with the big money, that will be Silicon Valley, are they going to do this? Are they going to put all that? They've got a trillion dollars worth of cash just about. Any sign that they will actually do it in America, put it into robots, well, new is, factory, in America? Yeah. This is why President Trump's uh, you know, trade war with China may actually play to America's advantage, because suddenly these companies are no longer announcing new manufacturing in China. No one's going there anymore. They're all worried about their supply chains. They're, they're all worried about being you know, robbed from over there. They all want to come back. So the motivation is there now. Now these companies need the push to bring manufacturing back. It'll cost money. In the long term, it'll save tremendously, and it'll give America the independence to, to, to innovate on its own. Fascinating. It's possible. It's, it's fascinating, and it's the other side of the story, which we really don't hear that often. Vivek Wadwa, thank you very much for joining us. We hope you can come back Absolutely. again. Kind of like you. I'm also at Carnegie Mellon University, by the way, so it's not just Harvard. <laughs> ah, okay, we'll let you off the hook. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Appreciate it. Good stuff. <laughs> thank you.